Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to retouch skin in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating your background layer. Next, use the spot healing brush from the left menu to slowly paint over the blemishes on the skin. Make sure to use a soft round brush where the mode is selected to normal and the type is set as content aware. The brush size should be a little bit bigger than the blemishes and the hardness should be around 50%. Feel free to make multiple passes until you're happy with the result. You can also switch to the regular healing brush and use the option key to select the source and then paint over the target to copy over the pixels. I like to start with the spot healing brush tool and then later change to healing brush tool when I want more manual control over the process. Once done, rename this layer to healing tools. Next, create a new layer and rename it to DNB or dodge and burn. Change the blend mode to soft light. Now choose the brush tool from the left menu and make sure the flow is set to around 5%. With the foreground color set to white, paint over the dark areas of the skin that you would like to lighten. And to darken the shadows, flip the foreground color to black and paint over them. Next, select both the DNB and Healing Tools layer and right click Convert to Smart Object. Now duplicate this layer and rename it to Smooth Skin. Click on Filter in the top menu and choose High Pass from the other dropdown. Pick a radius value of around 12 for now. We're going to come back and tweak this later. High Pass is used to find edges and sharpen images, but we're trying to do the opposite here. So click on Image in the top menu and choose Invert from the Adjustments dropdown. Now play around with the blend modes and find a mode where the skin is the smoothest. For this image, I'm going to go with Vivid Light. Next, click Filter from the top menu and choose Gaussian Blur from the Blur dropdown. Pick a value around 2 and click OK. To increase the smoothness, I'm going to go back to the High Pass filter and increase the radius to around 23. Next, hold the Alt or Option key and click on the layer mask. With the foreground color set to white, use the brush tool to paint over the mask so you can apply the smoothness selectively. This time make sure the flow is set to 100%. Stay away from the edges and the contours to avoid losing detail. Next, lower the opacity to around 75%. If you want to go one step further, Duplicate the DNB layer and use the quick selection tool from the left menu to select the model's eyes. From the adjustments tab, click on hue slash saturation and crank up the saturation slider. This will make the eye colors pop. Repeat these steps if you would like to increase the saturation of model's lips. To lighten the whites in the eye, create a brand new layer and change the blending mode to soft light. Now, use the brush tool from the left menu and paint over the whites in the eye. In retrospect, I should have done this during dodging and burning. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.